is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the master plan community called Tradition in the city of Port St. Lucie in the state of Florida. And today is Monday, February the 12th in the year 2024. Uh, this morning, our faith and fitness uh, portion, our faith part, our devotion part comes to us from uh, Sarah Young, Jesus Calling. So what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes right now as best as you can, okay? And um, imagine that this is Jesus talking to you right now. I am the risen one who shines upon you always. You worship a living deity, not some idolatrous man-made image. Your relationship with me is meant to be vibrant and challenging as I invade more and more areas of your life. Do not fear change, for I am making you a new creation with old things passing away and new things continually on the horizon. When you cling to old ways and sameness, you resist my work within you. I want you to embrace all that I am doing in your life finding your security in me alone. It is easy to make an idol of routine, finding security within the boundaries you build around your life. Although each day contains 24 hours, every single one presents a unique set of circumstances. Don't try to force fit today into yesterday's mold. Instead, Ask me to open your eyes so you can find all I have prepared for you in this precious day of life. I invite you to open your eyes at this time. I really love this devotion we hear today because we constantly are wanting to fit the old into the new. But that doesn't work, does it? We find that we struggle. We're like, why isn't this working? Well, it's not working because we're not looking at the newness of now. The newness of now. We have a God who is ever present, ever changing, and working in us so that we can also be ever present, ever changing, and challenging perhaps the ways in which we had operated in the past. So on this day, allow our Lord to present to you, just as each day is unique and changes in and of itself as nature. We even said this morning, wow, it's breezier than I thought. Well, isn't that just wonderful as the Holy Spirit is surrounding us, kicking up right now as I just said that, and saying, I'm doing a new thing. Do not perceive it. Live into the new on this day and recognize you are a beloved child of God and you will never, ever be left um, dropped. Let's put it that way. So live into the new thing that God is doing on this day. Let us pray. Good and gracious Lord God, on this Monday, February the 12th in the year 2024, you present to us a new day, new opportunities, new ways of seeing you. Help us to change and see as you would see, to listen as you would listen, to hope as you continue to bring newness into our life guide us on this day that we may experience newness that we never discovered before. And then tomorrow, when we wake up, we ask that you once again present us with newness so that each second of every day we seek to see you in a completely new experience. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. And now we pray those words that our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Feel that Holy Spirit whipping up around you and as best as you can, because I know for some of you it's pretty cold and snowy, just move your body somehow today. And for us, we're going to take a one-mile walk around the lake here in tradition. Blessings, and we'll see you next Monday.